People ask me a lot of questions about cryptocurrency. The most common one is a really basic one. How do I buy Bitcoin and crypto and what do I do with it once I get it? Let's talk about it. Welcome to Cryptonomics, Principles of Cryptocurrency and Investing. Thank you for pressing like and pressing subscribe. Thank you for checking out the description and connecting with me on all social media, including Steam and YouTube and Facebook and Anchor and everywhere quality podcasts are sold. The question is, how do I buy Bitcoin and what do I do with it? So first step, go on your favorite search engine and type in Bitcoin exchanges in my country. Cryptocurrency is legal in most of the world, but if you live in certain countries like Ecuador or Venezuela or in Vietnam, Vietnam it's actually legal to buy that illegal to sell. Even so, there are ways to acquire cryptocurrency in those countries. Now, of course, I would never recommend breaking the law. So this is purely factual, educational. This is what happens. This is an accurate description of illegal criminal activity that carries harsh penalty. In those countries, you still have options available. Buying and selling cryptocurrency isn't just something that happens in a formal, legitimate exchange. It's also a thing that can happen informally. So you could go on sites like localbitcoins.com and you can find a buyer or seller on there. You can also go on BISC, that's B-I-S-Q dot com. BISC is a piece of software which is decentralized exchange and you can put in your details there. So for example, put in your bank details and tell somebody to deposit a certain amount of money or agree to deposit money into somebody's bank account so they could send you the cryptocurrency. Because these sites have no central hub in many countries, it means very difficult to stamp them out. Another way is just to go to Meetup, so you can go on meetup.com, find a crypto meetup in your area and say that you want to buy. In most countries, you don't have to do that because you could go the legal route and you'll find a centralized exchange to buy your cryptocurrency. In many cities in the world, you can also find Bitcoin ATMs. Let's say you live in Australia, a good exchange for newbies is coinjar.com. Very simple interface, but because it's so easy to use, they'll tend to charge you more than other exchanges. If you live in the US, the easiest one to use will be Coinbase. Now, once you buy the Bitcoins, what do you do with them? Uh, well, you could just store them, sit on them, wait for them to increase in value and hope that they do. Or you can trade them for other tokens, which they, you can then use or hold as well. Or you can spend them or use them to support charitable causes. Storing your Bitcoins. You can keep your Bitcoins or other cryptocurrency on an exchange. Now, that's not always the wisest thing to do because there is a chance that exchanges might get hacked or they might just run off with your money. It has happened, it'll probably happen again. But for small amounts, it normally makes sense to leave it on the exchange because exchanges do have a withdrawal fee. So you don't want to just get your money eaten up by withdrawal fees. When you do have a decent amount on an exchange, it makes sense to withdraw it. One wallet that you can use on your desktop or laptop is Exodus and that can store all kinds of cryptocurrency on it. That leads us to a really simple question. How do you withdraw or how do you send Bitcoin or another cryptocurrency? So what will normally happen is you go to your withdrawal tab on the exchange and then it'll ask you to put in an address. So you'll go to your wallet, for example, the Exodus wallet and click on the receive tab and then you'll copy the address. It'll normally look like a 34 character string full of letters and numbers. It looks like a bunch of nonsense. So don't worry if you see something that looks like a computer error, 
that's actually completely normal. So you can tell this technology is still kind of in the early stages. Copy that address from the receive tab in your wallet and paste it into the withdrawal field on the exchange. And then you can press send. The exchange will normally alert you of any fee that you have to pay there and get you to confirm that you want to withdraw it as a security measure. Welcome to the future. <laughs> You've now used cryptocurrency. Next, you can trade your Bitcoin for other coins. So you could trade it for Ethereum or Monero. Every coin is different. Every coin is unique. Every coin might crash or moon when BTC hits peak. You can probably exchange your Bitcoin for other coins on the site where you bought your Bitcoins. But a lot of exchanges don't have a lot of trading pairs. They don't have a lot of coins that you can buy on there. So if that's the case, maybe you want to send your Bitcoin to an exchange such as Binance, which is one exchange which has a lot of coins listed on there. So it probably has the one you're looking for. Maybe you don't know what kind of coin you're looking for. There are some resources like CoinMarketCap.com, CoinCap.io, Crypto Compare. These sites will give you some basic information. They give you a link to the website of the project, and they'll also tell you on which markets or exchanges you can buy the coins. I'm recording this in April 2019. ICO hype has died down a lot. But chances are it'll probably come back around again. So if you're interested in ICOs, that is initial coin offerings, getting a coin before anybody else or before it trades on an exchange, then you can check out icowatchlist.com. And that'll give you a list of upcoming ICOs. So again, every coin is different. Some coins have opportunities for passive income. So with Dash, you can buy masternodes or get masternode shares. With Neo, it pays out gas into your wallet every couple of days, which is worth money and you can sell that as well. Other coins have certain utilities. So for example, when you buy Steam, you can use it to power up and increase your voting power on sites like Steam and, and D2. And that means you have more influence. You can decide more what becomes popular and it helps you gain more money through curation. Now, as for spending your Bitcoin, so you can spend it on regular sites like overstock.com. You can also buy Amazon gift cards and other gift cards on sites like eGifter and Gift giftwithay.com. Some of these sites will even give you a discount when you buy the gift cards in Bitcoin. So that's an easy way to get things for cheaper on Amazon. Buy airline tickets using services like abitsky.com. There's one thing that a lot of people have heard about and that's dark net activity. So I guess Bitcoin still has this reputation of being a black market currency. One important thing to note is that Bitcoin is not anonymous. So these days, normally it's Monero that people use on the dark net because it's reputably the coin with the strongest privacy. So using a browser like Tor, you can actually enter the dark net, find these hidden sites which are kept out of view, and you can buy stuff like drugs, like counterfeit US dollars or euros or golden AK-47s. Now, I don't know what kind of crazy coconut would order a golden AK-47 in the mail. Once again, I don't recommend that. I'm not telling anybody to do anything illegal. Educational purposes only. But <laughs> hey, welcome to the future. So that's an overview. That's how you buy Bitcoin using local Bitcoins or BISC or using an exchange. And that's what you can do with it once you purchase it. I hope that clears things up for some of you guys just coming in, not knowing what all this stuff is about. Remember to check out my video talking about why people should care about cryptocurrency. The big ideals of how cryptocurrency can affect society in the long term, including diminishing the rate of large-scale wars. So I'll put a link to that in the, the description, along with the other sites that I mentioned here. 
Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for pressing like and pressing subscribe. Being a crypto bro, check out the description and connect with me on all social media. And most importantly, have a great day. Stay grateful. Thank you.